Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and it's the year 2084 and you join me here once again on Mars, the Red Planet, as I uh, head a movement, a project to terraform the Red Planet into a lush and generous and basically livable space for humankind to expand onto or to <laughs> desperately seek refuge on. Uh, if we happen to destroy the Earth in the meantime, which, uh, well, anyway, let's not get into the politics of it. Yes, we are continuing the first scenario, the tutorial kind of scenario of Terraformers. And we've got two cities on Mars now. Uh, well, well, one and a little bit, really, because uh, there, there are no people living in New Bristol. But we do have a number of people. Oh, five people. Is that five? No, three people and two robots, apparently. It's difficult to judge whether that's actually three people or, or three units of people. And each unit might be ten or a hundred or a thousand. Difficult to judge. I can't imagine three people and two robots could manage this entire operation on their own. Even with a leader as inspiring as Gustav Mirzoen. Uh, yes, yeah, so we are here. Uh, we have things we can do. We could attempt to spread bacteria uh, on the planet, which would help it to transform into a slightly less hostile environment. But I don't have... I could put it there, actually. We, we need somewhere to put our bacteria spreader. Now, the thing about the bacteria we have available to us, which we acquired in the last episode, is, uh, if I click on it, can I click on it? Oh, there it is, yeah. It is Deinococcus, or Di Deinococcus. Yes, if you are in any sorts of biological chemist or organic chemist or whatever, uh, please do let me know how you might attempt to pronounce that particular word. I'm assuming it's not real, it's made up for the game. Yeah, it may be real. I don't know, wouldn't that be spooky? Mm. Yes, anyway, about this bacteria, it has a minimum requirement of minus two. Does that mean it will survive in higher temperatures? Or it has to be at least minus two or less to survive? It's, it's not entirely clear. So the thing is, do I place a bacteria spreader, which I can't actually, because I need 20 science to place it. I've only got 12 at the moment. Yeah, so it's a, it's a yeah, it's a mute point, <laughs> isn't it? Okay, so what can our man do here? We've already done everything we can do in this turn in this year, so let's move on and see what the new year holds for us. Oh hell! <laughs> Rising expectations. So our population now expects us to meet uh, ten. It's an odd way it works. It says you, you it gives you the number as a minus which means you have to provide more than 10, in this case, to get support from the population. Unfortunately, as you may recall, uh, a couple of years ago, we had some damage to one of our... Uh, it was a robot hub, I think? Yeah. Which meant that we were getting minus 10 support from that. And I'm just about to come out of that period, because it was just about to be repaired. So I don't know. Anyway, what have we got that we can build? A cultured meat lab. Oh, I do love cultured meat. Yes, um, a bit of meat with some sophistication and, and intellectual uh, ability that has an understanding of the fine arts and crafts. Another tritium thermogenerator. Uh, we're okay for energy at the moment. Uh, do I want that? What's this? A miner's cottage. Oh, you're quite good. Uh, you want support for every mine owned by this city. I don't know. Oh, do we actually have... Oh, I, I, I can't... Can I look? Can I close that for the moment and then come back to it? Oh, it looks like I can. That's splendid. Uh, do I have any mines? I've got one mine there for nitrates and one for tritium there. Ah, okay, so I've got two mines run by New Ajax. So if I take that project, I would then get an extra plus one support, as well as the plus one population anyway. But it does cost seven power to start with. 30 foot. Oh, that's, that's quite good. Now, this gives me. Oh, plus three support and one food, but it costs 10 sides to go. I think that might be useful to have, actually. Yeah. 
Ooh, and it's fully artificial. That's what cultured means. Oh, I'm the silly Billy. Cultured means it's not real. It's not cultural. It's not meat with a cultural understanding. It's meat be. It's meat. Meat created from a culture of stuff, vegetarian stuff. So yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go with that actually. Uh, I don't know how many more of these cards I can fit on the bottom here, but anyway. Uh, so what have we got? Uh, we can. If we go to New Ajax, let's have a quick look. That's going to take one more turn to repair, or I could spend that one titanium and repair it immediately. Okay, let's repair that immediately. That's that done. So I'm now down to minus three support. That's okay. Now, I, I would like some more population, please, actually, but I'm not going to get any because I haven't got enough food. And I don't have anything that will build me a robot... A robot... I haven't got a robot drone uh, hub like we had here. Put another landing pad, but that won't bring people in. It'll give me another trade route, which might be handy. Actually, so we could put that here. But I'm not sure if I want to do that there. Yeah, I need another habitation module. I'm, that's what's holding me back. So let's just go exploring, I think. Yeah, let's go exploring. Where shall we go? That gives me support, which is handy, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. That costs me two. Yeah, we'll go there. 21 support, that's nice. Uh, a little titanium and a little water, that's good. Uh, it's a symbolic location, is it? Well, that's, that's good to know. Uh, can we go there? Sandstones. Ah, yes, so on, on here, on this symbolic location, because there are sandstones there, I could build a guided tour location which will give me a lovely five support per turn, which is handy. But I'm not going to do that. I can't do that because I don't own it yet anyway. Oh, I think that's probably about all I can do here. Yeah, uh, how's our planet doing? Now these icons here, which we discussed at the end, towards the end of the last episode, they tell me how I am changing the, the, Mar the Martian environment. So here I'm increasing the temperature by one per turn, I think. That's that plus one. And I need to get to 30 uh, for a global temperature rise by one step. So I think, I, I assume that will take it up to one. I, I'm not sure what the current temperature is. So yeah, that, that I'm currently on four, so it's gonna take a while to do that. Uh, we're also pumping stuff into the atmosphere. And I'm currently seven of 60 <laughs> on that. So I'm still quite some way off. Now again, we can't do anything here, so let's just uh, move forward here, I think. Let's do that. Oh, can I, ah, it tells me I can only hold eight projects at a time. So I need to trash one of these so I can get uh, the next year's research project. Uh, what I could do is I could get rid of one of these hospitals. Yeah, we'll do that. That's good. So I get one extra science for that, and it also means I can now move on to the next turn. Ooh, I'll get another hospital back in as <laughs> well, okay. Ooh, a rover exploration centre. What does... I do wish they wouldn't always spell... Well, I suppose they have to spell everything American, don't they? Yeah, because there are probably more Americans speaking English than there are British people speaking English. Hey-ho. So a rover exploration centre gives an exploration action. Oh... So, with the recharge timescales with distance from this exploration starting at 2. Alright, but that does require tritium and whatever that is, uh, which I've forgotten already. Oh, it tells me up there, tritium and titanium. It would be handy to have a laboratory. Do I want more science? It might actually be useful to have more science. Okay, we'll do that, and I can actually build that science, because I have got five silicates and five nitrates. Should I build that in New Ajax? What space do I have here? Uh, we could put it out here. This delivery drones, I, I, I've skipped over it a moment, a moment ago, but it is actually quite useful because it gives uh, adjacent population plus two support. Ah, so I could put it there, which will give support to 
give an extra two to that habitation module, which might be handy. Ah, or I could... No, we'll, we might use that later. We will see. But I think a laboratory here would be a good thing to do, so we can place you down there. That's the job done. Uh, we're still waiting to expand our cities. So what we could do is some more exploration. Let's do that. We could come over here, which gives me nitrates. Oh, more support and water. Only a small hint of water, though. You give me science. I could come out here for three. Now let's not waste science at the moment. Let's uh, let's go out here, shall we? Four nitrates, two silicates, and three tritium. That's okay. That's lovely, and I think we're all done. Oh, and uh, Gustav is retiring. So he's done his 10 years uh, in charge of our Martian project. So who do we have available for the next 10 years? Uh, we have, oh, Aisha, or Isha. I, I might call her Aisha, I think. Uh, Jaeger, uh, expertise with animals. Care for stray dogs and cats in Berlin and Istanbul. Now the chief animal geneticist. Ooh, in charge of adapting earth creatures to Martian conditions. Nice. So, she can import two life, one of two life forms, and I can do that five times. Ah, interesting. And cold resistance, aha, reduces the heat requirement of a life form by one. Ah, oh, that's cool. And her specialization, she efficiently spreads animals. That'd be good to have if not immediately, but as we saw in the last episode, these specialisations do, I called them skills in the last episode, they are called specialisations, that her specialisation will roll over, but yes, yeah, so they will cost 40% less water. That's interesting. So who's our alternative? Henry Carnegie. Now there's a name from the past. Uh, certainly from the British past, anyway. He, I, I, ooh, I think it was British, possibly even Scott, actually Scottish. Um, or was he American? Actually, there's a Carnegie, mm, a historical philanthropist. <laughs> anyway, actually, yeah, I think it's probably more American. I might annotate this to correct myself uh, when I edit the video. Uh, Henry's industrial empire has been criticised for not complying with global emission guidelines. Yeah, uh, yeah, that sounds very American. Uh, CO2 imports gain. F Ooh, right, that's good. I'm not quite sure how that one would work. Would that impact on the CO2? Would that impact on the CO2 factory we've got in operation? Mine venting. Wow! Choose a mine. It immediately produces a plus five heat and plus five atmosphere, as well as minus twenty five support per resource. Yikes! Uh, no, I don't think I want to do that. Efficient minings. They're constructed for twenty five percent less. I think at this point in the game. I'm not sure support is a major issue, but I don't want to risk it. I think we'll go with Aisha. Okay, Aisha, take over. And what do we have here? Android Hub. Aha! Plus three robots. That's good. That's another CO2 factory and Eco Homes. We are quite close to getting that. So that's, a, that's only a plus one population as opposed to the Android, which gives us three. But they don't give us support. <laughs> no! Uh, uh, actually, then we got other ways of getting support, like this cultured meat factory. So I think you might be a good thing to have, Android Hub. Let's go for you. Can I place the Android Hub here in New Bristol? Uh, uh, make every city has a certain level of comfort. Why is that flashing at me? I don't know. Why, why, why is that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, comfort can be increased by uh, terraforming or by constructing certain buildings. Okay, stop. Why is that flashing? No, if I come out of there, go, go into New Ajax. It doesn't flash there, you see. What would be nice, uh, it has already been mentioned on the Steam forums, or possibly the Discord server for the game, is to have a next city button. 
uh, like you have in Civilization. So you don't have to go back to the planet to go to the next city that you that you have. Okay, so it's not flashing anymore. Okay, that's that's good. I think. <laughs> right. You require a fair amount of power and a fair amount of titanium, but uh, that would be good, I think, for us. So we'll place you there. Splendid. So I've now got four androids. They don't give me any support, but I do have three expansion slots, so I can move out to to all these other places. Uh, what could we do? Your titanium deposit. That would be handy to have, actually. Yep, so we'll expand out there. Uh, uh, we haven't got titanium to, to set the mine up to start with. But that's okay. We That's part of our city now. So we can go out there. Uh, was that sandstones as well? That's guided tours. Oh, that does give us five support. Let's do that. Let's do the guided... I know, that takes four food away. Do I want to do that? No, not for the moment. Not for the moment. And what we could do here is we could build a, a dike. Each level protects location against one ocean level. Uh, we still need the uh, the titanium, uh, which I don't have. <laughs> I'm not. Just, oh dear! All right, I can't build a mine to mine it because I don't have any of it to start with. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? We should have science soon to start bacterial spreading. That could be good. Right, let's use our free exploration. Where can we go? Yeah, let's go out here for some more support. Ah, could be a city by the look of it. It's a crater. Loads of support, a little bit of water. That's lovely. So although my per turn count is still minus three, I am sort of racking up the, the basic balance by getting these extra support uh, tiles. Propose two life forms, choose one. Okay, let's let's actually do that. So what choice do we have? We've got uh, Metallidurans, which has it requires a one temperature. Produces one titanium per turn if climate zone has a city. Okay, that's good. And Cyanopfra, what's that do for us? Well, zero temperature, that's atmosphere. Oxygen. That, that's I. <laughs> oh, we've already got one doing atmosphere, haven't we? So I think this one might be good, and it gives us more prestige as well. Okay, let's go for the Metallidurans. Right, and there is no suitable. Yeah, there is no suitable climate zone, so it gives me an error message for that one. But this on this one it doesn't. So I ah, so I assume that minus two is the lowest temperature that you can put it in. So these zones which are minus one or zero, then we can place it in. And this other skill gives me uh, a cold resistance. So I could use that skill next turn to give Metal Durans uh, an extra sort of uh, resistance to that temperature. So I could put it down in a lower temperature zone. I like this. This is going quite well. Ooh, some more exciting buildings. A soil factory. You get uh, adjacent food buildings produce plus one food per turn. You... Adjacent power producing buildings produce one more power. Oh, that's useful. And a courthouse. Gives me plus two comfort of living. I'm I'm not sure I, underst I properly understand the, the the comfort thing yet, to be honest. But uh, we could. I quite like that. But we'll go for the comfort the courthouse. I think. Now, can we place anything yet? We could place the low balancing. We could place the hospital. But I want to save my science for the bacteria spreader. Is there somewhere here I can explore? Aha! Which has titanium. So we might get enough from there to uh, to build something with a low titanium need. Uh, that's a large hint of it. Can I explore there? Cost four power. Uh, anywhere that gives titanium for a little bit less. 
a small hit. Oh, you're three there. Yeah, let's go here. Six titanium. That's excellent. Three nitrates and two tritium. Uh, that's about it, really. So we've now got ooh, loads of titanium. So what can we build with that titanium? A landing pad. We could build some delivery drones. And we could build the courthouse. Let's go into New Ajax. Where's New Ajax? There you are. So what's our comfort here? Where's our, oh, that's our comfort. Comfort is two. So each population in the city provides support income every turn equal to the comfort. Ah, right. So the fact that I've got, uh, what have I got in terms of population? Three population. So that's giving me, right, three comfort. Uh, sorry, three, three support for those three population. And if I increase the comfort level of the city by putting a courthouse in, I'll get more of that lovely comfort. Now that takes food. We're running a little short of power as well. We could put that courthouse. I'm going to do that. I've done it. And I'm now plus three support. Excellent work. More research projects. A school requires science and food and provides two support. Another landing pad. A robot hub. Okay, we'll leave that to one side for the moment. I like the idea of a school. I do. Oh, spaceport. Oh, that gives me two landing spaces. Yes, we'll take we'll we'll take you, and I'll get rid of that landing pad. There. I no, I'll leave you there because I don't need to get rid of you just yet. Uh, yes, I do. I need to get rid of one, uh, unless I place something. Hold on. Oh, I can place my bacteria spreader. Okay, what do I want in spreading bacteria? Do I want... This gives me two atmosphere per turn. Or do I want this? I'm getting heat there. That could be quite good, actually. So where would we put our bacteria spreader? Okay, let's go exploring. Where else can we go exploring your, your two? Okay, we'll go down you. Ooh, what's this? Black deserts. Uh, very small hints of water. Significant scientific importance, hence the plus six science. Uh, could be a good source of silicates. Well, I don't know about that, but we'll take those resources anyway. That's lovely. We've got loads of science now. So I can definitely place my bacteria spreader. And we will place... Uh, can't expand out to that place yet. <laughs> no. Um, let's go out here, I think. Yeah, let's go up there. Let's own that. I don't want it to be guided tours. What I want is a bacteria spreader. So if I put that there, that's good. Okay. And what bacteria can we spread? We'll, we'll place down the atmosphere one at the moment. Yeah, we'll place that there. I think. Have I done that? I'm not sure I've done that. Oh, yes I have. Yes. So I'm spreading bacteria from Arabia. It wasn't it wasn't a very positive response to my clicking it there. But that's, that's fine. So we're now spreading life, which is what Aisha is all about. Oh, a recently discovered bacterium developed on Mars has contaminated... Oh, food contam... Oh, bother! Destroy all my food stocks. Uh, uh, minus 100 support or minus 20 science. We'll lose all our food, I'm afraid. That's what we're going to do. Import methane from Titan. Oh, that gives me loads of atmosphere and heat. That'd be good. Habitation, more cultured meat. I like that one. Excellent. We've now started a space project. So you notice we've now got three slots coming up here where we have projects running in space. What we need to do is... Actually, we don't need to do anything from that, I don't think. 
do I? Uh, game event. Right. I don't. Do I need to do anything there? Ah, uh, right. Yes, I need to import methane. Ah, right. Okay, so if I stop importing water and import methane instead, so I've only got the one, the the one landing pad at the moment. Uh, hang on. Uh, uh, so. Oh, so my hang on. What's going on here? Okay, so that's an import. Oh, so I'm ex. Oh, right. Okay, yes. Yeah, so I'm exporting this uh, green stuff, tritium, <laughs> and that brings in the atmosphere and the heat. Right. That's yeah. That's not entirely clear what that's doing, but yes, that that's fine. Everything is equalised now, so that's good. I think. Oh, so that's good. So we, our terraforming project is now moving apace, I think. Oh, I've got a building action. Uh, a building action to spread life forms is... Oh, hang on. Right, so I want to take you... Oh, there, I've... now it does it. I'll place you there. Right, yes. Oh, we've completed uh, our objective. One of our objectives. Okay, that's good. And as we can see here... Oh yeah, the, the atmosphere is going up by plus three now. That will be because of the bacteria, I reckon, is doing that. That is lovely. Import oceans from the rings of Saturn. Uh, we could do that. Okay. Yeah, we'll add that to, to there. It's not going to do anything yet until we actually start importing uh, titanium into it, which we can't really do because we don't have any. Can we build anything? We could build our cultured meat lab. And that gives me more food, which means I can build more habitation modules. So that might be a good thing to do. Uh, we could do that in New Bristol. Three power to clear that. Uh, place the meat lab in there. That gives me oh, loads of support now. And four food per year. Lovely. Oh, and we got sat our satellites back to do more free exploration. Where shall we go? Well, let's come over here. Silicates and science. Ooh, nothing but red rocks, flat plane, scientific interest, and that's about it, really, there. Silicates and science. Nice. Ooh, more tri titanium. There, that'd be a good place to go, I think. Next. Uh, do I want to do more exploration or get another life form? Let's get another life form, shall we? Alpine pine forests. That needs one temperature and one rainfall. We might have the temperature soon, but we're not going to have the rainfall. No, or a tundra forest. <laughs> one rainfall. Ooh, looks like you might be easier to place down. But that requires rainfall, and I just don't have that, do I? Oh, I might as well, well, we'll take you anyway. It seems we've got a choice to make. That's fine. I like the idea of the spaceport. That gives me trade, which could come in handy. But no, let's, let's go all out for terraforming, I think. So we'll put the bacteria spreader on there. That's good. Yes, we'll accept you. And can I spread life? No. No. Yes. And no. However, if I use my, if I use Aisha's genetic modification cold resistance skill, I can do that on the metal metalli durans, which means I should be able to place them in. Actually, is that a zero temperature district? <laughs> I should have checked that first. Uh, oh, minus three. No, it's not. Bother. Oh, that's frustrating, isn't it? Actually, I could put the the Denidocus here as well. That gives me more atmosphere. So I'm doing a really good atmospheric thing going on here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, it's too cold. <laughs> oh, it is. Ah, so I could... Ah, right. Yes, because that one goes down to minus two. If I modify it to go down to minus three, aha, next turn. 
Right, we're done. Yes, we can do that. I think. Ooh, rising expectations! Minus 15 now. And now I'm my... Ugh, frustrating and annoying. Robot Ingenuity Center. Robots provide an extra expansion point. A gas factory. Lots more atmosphere. That could be good. Research Center. Gives me more projects per turn. I have enough difficulty choosing from three, let alone five. We'll take the gas factory, I think. And what we can do is we can modify uh, Denny Docus. That's minus three, so I think I can place that down here now in Aona. Yeah, it's a bacteria. Yes, I know. Uh, click this correctly. So click that, click that, and put that there. Excellent. So we should be getting loads more atmospheric impacts from that. Plus one robot. Oh, that's good. I could do with another location. And provides plus two support per turn. That's handy. Yes, can I place you, if I remove this rock here. Yep. And I'll place you, if I click you, place you down there. So I should now have another expansion point for New Ajax. I do. Where can we go then from here? Let's expand then. Could go there. Ah, which would be a good place actually. Yep, yeah, if I go there, I could then put the spaceport or something down there, couldn't I? Because there's nothing really there, it's just planes. Another sandstorm! Oh no! And it's damaged two buildings now. Oh heck. Minus 28 support! That's going to require 5 science and 10 food to repair, and that 3 power and 3 titanium. Okay, we can fix you I think fairly quickly. Yeah, because you give us the worst damage uh, support impact, so I'll repair you now. Directly. Can I, can I do that? Oh, I don't have three titanium. Bother! <laughs> How annoying is that? What did I just do? Oh, I... <laughs> Bother! I, I think I just spent three power demolishing that rock. I didn't intend to do that. Too much random left-clicking. Uh, we could put you there. Every four buildings using power. Okay. So if I place you there... Okay, I think I'm getting more power. Yeah, it says one. Right. I think that's okay. Okay, we'll get another life form. Deer or penguins? <laughs> oh, heck. So deer require oxygen and temperature. You just require oxygen. Ooh. Now we are building up our atmosphere. It might take us a while to get to two oxygen. But that's good. Okay, we'll take penguins then. Right, we need to scrap one of these buildings. Uh, can I place one? I can place the igloos. I've got 30 food. If I place you there. Okay, let's do that. We'll place you there. Okay, lots more population and more support, which is always very handy. And if you can see through this... Oh, I've got three titanium, so I can repair this. Done. Excellent, so I'm now losing just 10. Uh, we've got one expansion slot here for new Ajax. Where shall we go? Let's expand. Yep. Go there. So that's a minus one support because we're spreading our city so far and wide. Oh, and that's it for Aisha. Oh, that was a quick ten years, wasn't it? So who do we have? Uh, Hope O'Malley. An oratorial... Expert, uh, an oratorical skill, expertise, and she gains support for every... Oh, she can do a speech once per city and give me ten support. That's nice. Cultural festivals, spend eight water and gain eighty support. And gain one support per turn for every eight buildings I construct. Again, that specialisation will roll over. That could be quite a handy thing to have. And alternatively, Mer Miriam Fayed at Robotics. Three more projects are proposed. 
this turn and gains four science. And a drone hub gives me plus one robots. And a power boost for every new six power you start producing. Well, that'll take a while to, to kick in. I'm thinking hope might be a good choice. Let's put down, I think, a spaceport. Now, we had yeah, this spare location here, which we could use for a spaceport. Let's do that. You can go there. That's lovely. So I can now import and export more stuff. Awesome. Uh, what I would like to do then, let's go into trade. I'd like to import some of this uh, titanium stuff. I can send out... Um, what can I send out? Nitrates? Yeah. I think I'm okay with that. So that's equalised. Yeah, I think that'll do. So I, I'm not using all my trade routes, but that will do for now, I think. That's good. Yep, yeah, I've already used a skill, so I can't do anything more at the moment. New turn. Ooh, spacecraft crash. Uh, one of our spacecrafts, uh, slight grammatical miscalculation there, I think. Uh, one of our spacecraft has crashed during a trade mission. It might happen again, causing some reluctance to travel among the population. Minus two support per trade for ten to... Oh, how annoying. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to live with that. Another cultured meat lab. You'll give me more plus one power. Place on a high location. You're quite good, the combined living centre. I could put that in place of the habitation module. Because that gives me both one population and one robot. So that's two expansion slots. Okay, we'll take you, I think. We could build our plant spreader. We could build the gas factory. The seed vault. Ah. Right, now, where's our bacteria spreaders? <laughs> How can you tell them on here? What are, there's one there. Yeah, actually we've got one in New Bristol, in uh, Arabia. We should also have one. Yeah, there's the other one in Aona. But that one doesn't have a... is attached to a city. We could place it in New Bristol. Uh, so I'll get rid of yeah that. It makes sense having it next to the greenhouse, doesn't it? I suppose. So we'll place you there. That's lovely. So we're getting loads of science now, plus three per turn. Oh, the atmosphere level has increased. Excellent. So we've now got a hundred support for that. We are doing well. Oh, just in time for expectations to rise. Ah, oh, honestly. Can't win for, yeah, losing. Another generator. Insect farm. Not everyone likes insects, though. Skyscraper. That gives me two population. But people don't like it. No. We're not going to do that. We're going to take the science instead, I think. Uh, a exploration satellite is available to us again and this one can find for us more silicates perhaps out or perhaps further out in these outer reaches here yeah we'll, we'll go you uh, three titanium which is handy that's lovely we can also send you out to explore for power, but no, I'm so short of power now. No, we're not going to do that. Oh. Oh, I, oh, I just noticed that. Your leader can still perform an action, but ending the turn now will convert this action to plus 15 support. Oh, that's handy. Uh, so my support is 751 at the moment. Seven, I think that worked. <laughs> Plant spreader, particle collider, or automatic, automated robotic workforce. Plus one comfort for every living robot. Yeah, let's take you. How many robots have I got in New Bristol? Three. And in New Ajax, we 
three robots there as well. We can't build it here. Well, we can we can demolish buildings in a city and replace them, but we're not going to do that here. We're, again, we're close to getting the uh, habitation module option, and I can now build a habitation module. Yay! We'll do that in New Bristol. <laughs> You will give me just one population. Okay, well, it's better than nothing. And I will place you... I'll have to place you here, I think. Could place you there, but I'll get no adjacency bonuses if I put any support buildings in. We'll get rid of you. We'll put the habitation module there. That is lovely. You see the outskirts of our lava tunnel developing. Now got a expansion slot for New Bristol. Oh, I could build this titanium mine, couldn't I now? Uh, we're a bit short of power though, that's that's the slight problem here. Come out here, I think. That gives me water. So I could extract the water from the oceans, or I don't have an ocean at the moment, so it gains 10 ocean. I'm not sure what that will mean. I'd rather have water coming into our civilization. So we'll take you. We'll end our turn. Ooh, and some more bioengineering. Boreal forests, rainforest, which requires temperature and three rainfall. No chance. Uh, I think, yeah, temperate is, is the best of those two, to be honest. There we go. Eco homes, tuba farms, and residence station. Take the eco homes, I think. And what I'll do is I'll end this episode here. We've made one significant change. We have improved the atmosphere to level one. We're getting close to raising the temperature to level one. Well, that is the current temperature, zero. Ah, okay. Well, we need to work on our oxygen and our rainfall. We've got a new icon here as well. Oh, that's the space travel reluctance thing. Okay, so it's just four more turns of minus two support. That's all right. And yeah, very. Oh, I see you get little. Ah, so it shows you how close you are to achieving success in these specialisations. Right. So I've got four ro for every seven robots. I've got four robots out of seven, and I've got three out of the eight new buildings. Okay, fine. That's good, I think. I'm getting close to actually importing methane from Titan. Which will give us lots of atmosphere and lots of heat. Yeah, that'll take us over the temperature gradient thing. That'll give us a temperature of 1. Atmosphere, we've still got a way to go. It's going to go up to 120 to get to atmosphere level 2. So we could do with some more bacteria or something which puts oxygen into the atmosphere. That's what we want. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode of Terraformers. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, extra episode. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Even better, if you've got anything to say about how I'm playing or misplaying the game, or what your feelings are about the game itself in general, do please let me know by dropping a comment down in the comments box. That Obviously, I suppose, really. It's always awesome to hear from you. That would be lovely. And, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me and Hope O'Malley, until the next time, bye-bye for now. <laughs>